Hey everybody, uh, this lesson should go pretty fast just like the last one. Here we're adding and subtracting mixed numbers. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. So if you go to MrMathBlog.com, I have that page right, right here, sorry. So here's MrMathBlog.com and then uh, over here is fifth grade. So if you click fifth grade over there, it'll take you to this. And as soon as I get done loading these up it'll go right here I just did uh, section 65 adding and subtracting fractions so here we're gonna add and subtract uh, mixed numbers here okay let's go ahead and get started here and if you guys can would you guys click like and or subscribe and here's our common core strand for our teachers and then our question is how can we add or subtract mixed numbers that don't have the same denominator okay so let's go ahead and get started here. Colt mixed one and four fifths pounds of nuts with two and one tenth pounds of raisins. How many pounds of mix did he make? Okay. So what operation are we going to use here? Well, we're going to use addition, obviously. And then do they have, this, uh, have the same denominators? No, they sure don't. So one's five, one's ten. So, so I'm going to say nope on that. So Let's go ahead and add these two fractions together, okay? So to find uh, the sum of mixed numbers with unlike denominators, we can use the common denominator. So just like the last lesson here. So let's estimate this sum right here to see if our answer is going to be reasonable at the end. Four-fifths is almost close to one because four is almost close to five. This is almost one, so this is almost one plus one or two. One-tenth is a really small number, so we'll pretend like that's a zero. And this is almost two right here, so this is two and a little bit more. So this is like two plus two. So our answer, it says estimate. I'm going to estimate it's going to be four right there, okay? So as long as we get an answer that's close to four, we should be good. So let's find a common denominator, and we'll use it to write equivalent fractions with the common denominator, okay? All right, so now the common denominator is 10 because in like in the last lesson, 5 goes into 10, so all we have to do is change this one. So if we multiply it by 1, our 1 is 2 over 2. That way we get 5 times 2 or 10, and 4 times 2 is 8. So this becomes 1 and 8 tenths. Don't forget about this 1 right here, okay? So that's going to go right here, 1 and 8 tenths right there. And now we're going to add 2 and 1 tenth. All right, so now we're going to add the fraction parts, and then we'll add the whole numbers. So 8 tenths plus 1 tenth. Now we just add the top pieces. 8 plus 1 is 9 tenths, okay? Then add the whole numbers, we get 3 and 9 tenths. Okay, so Colt mixed three and nine tenths pounds of uh, mix of, of nuts and, um, and raisins. So it sounds like gorp. <laughs> gorp is what we used to do in a trail mix that we'd go hiking with. So explain how we know that our answer was a reasonable answer. Well, here is our estimate. Our estimate was four right there. And we our actual answer was three and nine tenths. Well, three and nine tenths is almost four right there. So our answer was close to our estimate of four, so we know it's going to be a reasonable uh, answer. So what other common denominators could we have used? Well, with five and ten, well, any multiple of ten, because any multiple of ten is ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, and any multiple of ten, five goes into, so any multiple of ten would have used on that one. We just would have had to reduce it at the end a little bit more. Let's do the same thing with these guys here. Four and five, six, minus two and three, fourths. Okay, so we got to get a, uh, let's estimate first, you guys. So 4 and 5, 6 is close to 5. 2 and 3 fourths is close to 3. So 5 minus 3 is 2. Our answer is going to be somewhere close to 2 right there. Okay. So we're going to find a common denominator and then use the common denominator to write equivalent fractions with like denominators. Okay, well one denominator is not a multiple of the other, so if you can't see the lowest common denominator, you can just multiply it. Four times six is 24, so that'll be a common denominator right there, it's 24. So if we multiply this one by one, but it's four over four, that way we get 24 downstairs. This one we're gonna multiply by one, but our one is six over six to get us 24 down here. Okay, five times four is 20 over 24. 3 times 6 is 18 over 24. So we're going to get uh, our common denominators of 24. All right, so now we're going to subtract the fraction parts here first, and then we'll subtract the whole numbers, okay? So 20 over 24 minus 18 over 24. We just subtract the numerators now that we have common denominators. 
20 minus 18 is 2 over 24. And then subtract 4 minus 2. 4 minus 2 is 2. And then now we've got to write the answer in simplest form. Well, 2 goes into 2, and 2 goes into 24. So 2 goes into 2 once, and 2 goes into 24 12 times. So this is going to be uh, 2 and, whoops, I made a mistake. This is supposed to be 1 12th right there. So sorry. That should be a 1 12th right there, okay? All right. Uh, that should, should be still 1 12th right there. I'm going to have to change that on every piece right here. So explain how we know that this answer is reasonable. Well, 2 and 1 12th is going to be close to... Uh, close to 2, so we know it's going to be an, a reasonable answer right there, okay? So since our answer is close to our, our estimate answer, then the answer is going to be reasonable. Okay, hey, if you guys can, don't forget to click like. Take care, you guys.